Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm Tom, uh, and I'm going to uh, have a bit of a look at the new version of QGIS, uh, which is version 2.2, uh, and it was just released and uh, now in February 2014. So um, I'm going to uh, show you one functionality uh, that I think is going to be really uh, useful for a lot of the QGIS uh, users. So. Um, the uh, functionality I'm going to have a look at is the relations uh, functionality. The, you can create a relationship between two different tables. Uh, they could be spatial and non-spatial. So I'm going to show you how I actually use this to connect uh, my airport's shapefile with my uh, comment uh, table from uh, my PostJS database. So if you have a look on the left hand side, I have the shapefile open here uh, and I have my database table open here as well. So the airports, of course spatial, so you can see that we actually have all the dots on the screen here uh, and uh, the uh, comment is a non-spatial table. So what I want to do now is to actually add a relationship between those two tables. So when I'm going into the airports table, I could add a comment to that that's actually related by a primary foreign key relationship. So where I'm doing that, I'll just uh, go and I'll click on the project tab uh, and I'm going into the project properties. And of course you need to save a um, project as well so so you can um, open this up later on with the same settings so I'm just going to click on here and that opens up a dialog box and then you can see that you have relations so it's just as simple as clicking on relations clicking on add relation give it a name in this case it's just comments um, child is going to be the comment table you're going to reference by comment foreign key, that's where we're actually putting the relationship in uh, and then we have the parent which is the airports uh, and that's going to be, we're going to use the cat field in this case uh, and then the idea is going to be automatically generated in this table. So I'm just going to click OK, then you can see that this relationship is added, so I'll just click OK. So now we're going to go and have a look at what this actually looks like. So I'm just going to use this I tool up here uh, and just click on one of the airports and then you can see that we have that airport here but now I can actually go and add the comments to that which is in the other table. So just going to click plus uh, and then see that primary key is then automatically generated in the post GIS and then we actually brought across the, the um, cat value from the other table so that's not going to be related to each other and then you can just go on and we can click OK and then you can see that this has been added to, to this uh, and then we can go in later on and we can toggle between here as well so we can go and click so we can get a form and then click on the there uh, and then we can go and change the, uh, the values in here if you want to do that. We put comments and just put test in there if you want to do that. So, that. And then uh, click OK. So, then that's saved uh, and that's what this looks like. So, then means, that means that you've actually seen that all the, uh, all the, all the values uh, in the table uh, comment within the airports and uh, all the ones that are related to that. So, it means that you can add several comments to each and every airport. So I hope that was uh, useful. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, please, uh, please just uh, contact me at uh, tom at tftraining.com.au or head to my website. And I also, I'm also teaching a series of uh, QGIS courses uh, if you're interested in learning more about QGIS, which is a really handy open source and, and free GIS software. So thank you very much for watching my video and, and have a good day.